Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some Football Manager 2015. Uh, Clyde, we're up against Peter's Head up next. Um, <clears throat> let's just have a little look at where we got to. It's been a little while since I've played, um, so let's just figure out exactly where we are and what is to come next. Um, Peter, Peter's Head at home, or Peter Head at home. Um, let's have a little look at the league table uh, and as you can see we are second they're second from bottom so I'm assuming that means we're going to lose um, we've got to reach the playoffs as our our uh, goal we had to reach the fourth round which we did um, we had to reach the second round which we did and what the hell is this Anyway, so there we go. All right, so the cup names changed. So there's something I just needed to, to tell you, actually, just because uh, I started a different game, which you may have may or may not have seen on my channel, uh, the Out of the Shadow series. Uh, and for that, I installed the uh, graphics packs. Um, so as you can see, hopefully now, as I'm sure you were all wondering, there is there is Danny Akindayani, um, David Graham, as you can see, there he is, in case you were intrigued. Uh, Craig Gibson, he's not a real person. Um, what else have we got? Connor Grant, so just to give you an idea of what uh, what some of the people look like. So that's that's happened. It's also installed the uh, the bright names and badges and all the rest of those things. But I think for in the leagues that we're in, we had them. Uh, European competitions generally don't. So um, there you go. So that's, that's the only thing that's really changed. Um, so there'll be more people that you're seeing. Um, haven't done anything else, so don't worry too much. Although in that series we did install a uh, a couple of mods which give you access to pretty much every league in Europe, which is quite cool. Um, so check out that series if you haven't already. But we'll um, we'll continue with this one, and and I'll do my best to bring you as many episodes of this series along with um, the Ipswich Wanderers series and now the Munich 1860 series. So you know if you want to check any of those out, then you know where they are. Um, just having a little look here. We look okay. George and Timmy is a bit tired. Let's maybe just swap him round for old Mr. Graham. There he is. Um, so we're up against Peter's head. Peter head. There's no S on the end. Um, so fingers crossed we can get a win here. We can uh, push on because we need to close that gap. Although we need to finish in the playoffs, which early early signs are good, but you never know. Um, okay, we expect nothing less than a win, boys. Just so you know. Well dealt with McQueen. There goes Martin playing it out to Murray. We play some more right football. Unlucky Grant. Ooh, unlucky axe. It's good effort. Mm hmm. Keeps. Oh, phew. some indecision at the back there almost cost us. Defenders didn't go, goalkeeper didn't come out. Almost left us looking real silly. Hopefully we'll, we'll learn from that. Oh, off the line. Unlucky Graham. And they managed to clear it. It's a good ball. Graham is in. Keepers come out. Oh, should have been looking to square that to Axe. They're all coming a little bit. Ooh, a little bit uh, tight to the middle of the pitch. 
And Fergie still hasn't quite done enough this season for my liking. I think my assistant manager said we're playing some good stuff, but a goal or two would be very welcome. Which, uh, if I don't know what's stating the what is stating the obvious, um, there you go. That's why we pay you the big bucks, Bob Malcolm. Oh, unlucky. So we haven't been playing with our usual gusto. We haven't created any chances. Well done, Murray. Hopefully Graham can whip a ball in. Oh, we've hit the bar. I think we've hit the bar twice. So certainly had the bar hit and uh, and one cleared off the line, potentially. Disappointing. Come on, Fovers. We need a free kick on target. We've got one. Oh, we couldn't follow up. And I think it's going to be half time. Ferguson is is injured or has taken a knock. We tell the team we're disappointed with that and we expect more. Come on, boys. There's Grant. There's Fergie. Oh. Come on, boys. Oh, my Lord. That was a chance. Alright, how's Fergie doing? Not great. And Timo is coming on, on the wrong wing. Hopefully he can cut inside and do some damage. The last 10 minutes. We need something, boys. Draw will not be good enough here. Oh, come on. Give him back. Good football up to this point. Ah, Graham's offside. Very disappointing. And last couple of minutes. Just haven't looked like really creating too many clear cut chances, although we should we should be winning. No doubt about that. There's Graham. He's found Axe. Oh, last chance. Oh, is that a corner? No, it's a penalty. Who'd have thought? Who would have thought? Oh, we'll take that. We would absolutely take that, and we have been given a lifeline. Oh no. By the whistle, ref. There we go, we'll take that. We have got away with one, but that is exactly what we needed. Tell the boys that even with a win, that wasn't good enough, but. We've closed the gap and uh, they weren't playing, so hopefully that will put a bit of pressure on them. A little bit of pressure on Dunfermline. So all we can do is keep winning. I mean, there's still a long, long time to go. Next up is Sterling. Oh, 
Okay. There's Bob Malcolm, just in case you wondered. I'm assuming that means he was at Motherwell, I was gonna say, with that. That can't be a kit from when he was at Motherwell, was it? That was like four seasons ago. Okay, oh well. We're the favourites for this game as well. Uh, Dunfermline played and won. Okay, so we picked our team, it's swapped some people around, kind of what we expected. Only question is, is Graham, should he be starting ahead of Intima or not? Or maybe even Akin Diani um, up top, but uh, this is what we're going with. Stick with what we know for now. We're favourites again, boys, so I'm expecting more. Start taking advantage of set pieces as well. Don't score enough goals from them. Oh, it's total football. Without any real direction, it's total football. Go on, Fergie. Ooh. Zwick makes a good save. Dak's got a uh, bit of hefty old challenge going in there. And if we could not leave it up until the last minute, that would be fantastic. Ooh, hefty old challenge going in there as well. And it's a penalty again. A ridiculous foul to give away by Willie Robertson. Not sure what he was thinking. And we haven't got Graham on the pitch, so I'm not sure who's taking this. Is that Fovers? Oh, penalty. Can't do it from uh, outside of the 18-yard box, but 12 yards, deadly. To be fair, that is right in the top corner there. You ain't stopping that. We'll take a lead after 12 minutes. Ooh, we'll take a corner as well. A badly taken corner, admittedly, but we'll take a corner. Ooh, well done, Mitchell. I'll tell you what, Ferguson's going to get there. It's him against three. He's done well to win a throw in. Murray's out wide. Oh, he's hit the post. at the bar, finish it, well done Fergie, eighth goal of the season, great effort from Max, just took a touch, side footed it towards that top corner, rattled the crossbar and Fergie was the one who reacted first, putting it in the, putting it in the corner, we'll take that, definitely good to get that second goal. go we reach half time two goal lead
tell them we're pleased and that we hope that their heads don't drop, I guess. But the problem is, as soon as you tell them that you want uh, you want them to keep their discipline, they uh, sometimes get a bit annoyed. Thought Fovers was going to make me eat my words then when he said he can't score outside the box. Holland has taken a bit of a knock. Looks like he's running it off though. That's good news. Could be a bad move, but I'm gonna rest. Rest. We're gonna take some off and hope hope we can see out this two 0 win. Hopefully we're about to see this out. There's Grant. Back to Holland, I would imagine. No. Oh, unlucky Gibbo. Did well. Might as well just blow the whistle now, ref. We're going to concede. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh. He was unlucky. Last 20 seconds. Big hoof down the field. And that should do it. There we go. Good work, boys. Tell the boys it was a good win. Keep their morale up. And there we go. That's what we wanted. Livingston have beaten Dunfermline. That gap is now one point. 18 games played. Aston Villa has gone. Um, Sammy Hooper has gone from Villa. My name isn't mentioned. It's a bit weird. Um, uh, Motherwell, Sack McCall again. My name not being mentioned. And uh, the Druids of of Sack Daiselwood, and again, not on the list of people to interview. Seems a bit weird that to me. Uh, but there you go. I think we'll call it the end of the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter, Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.